welcome back to my channel and for those that are new welcome welcome my name is JK and to my subbies thank you very much for returning I truly truly appreciate your support so as a title suggests today's video is all about 2019 trends I did a little bit of research um, I looked at what was being shown on the runways and I saw a couple of a couple of things that I think will be trending in 2019 so i'll be sharing those with you obviously there's a lot a lot of trends um i can't cover each and every single one but i will cover those that are practical for me and maybe they might be practical to you as well and you know with trends trends come in and they they trends come and go basically trends come and go and you don't necessarily have to go out and buy you know new clothing items that are trending you just have to sometimes just you know go into your closet and see what you have chances are you might find a couple of pieces that are really trending you don't really have to buy new new clothing items so no long talking i will get straight into the video if you've enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe like comment share and follow me on instagram let's get started So the first thing that I saw on the runway is color. There was a lot of color. I saw a lot of reds, different shades of red, um, magenta, different shades of, you know, pink, basically. Lavender, yellow, uh, neons. Did I mention reds? I think I mentioned reds. And blues. So, um, like I said before, you know, you don't have to go out and buy these clothing items chances are you already own some of them so i went into my closet and checked what colors that will be trending in 2019 do i have and i found this um magenta top uh, i bought this in 2010 believe it or not this is a top that i bought in 2010 uh, it was from legit and it's in a size four and this as well it's very old um i've had this since 2005 this bright yellow and this was from what was this? this was from truett's this was from truett's and i have this you know lime um tank top or is it a t-shirt this lime t-shirt so it's you know i mean you can see it's very bright it's a neon neon green i've also had this i've also had this for a very very long time so and these blue uh strappy sandals from legit these are bought in 2015 and these are from cc boy you'll remember these from my valentine's day outfit video I wore these in one of the outfits but anyway I've had these also for a while um, I think 2015 as well I've had this so basically you don't even need to go out and buy obviously uh, these things you, you chances are you already have them and so don't throw these things away don't throw your clothes away just you know if they come in if the trend comes in and it goes out just put them away Without fail, the trend is going to come back. And then you don't have to actually go out and buy these. If color is not your thing, um, earth-toned colors are back. I, I saw a lot of earth-toned um, colors on the runway. Colors such as tan, cream, khaki. So I know some people, you know, color is a little bit out of their comfort zone. They prefer, you know, neutral colors and neutral colors are still going strong even this year because I don't think this is a new trend. Neutral colors have, 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 have been, you know, they were big in 2018 and I think that is crossing over to 2019. So expect to see a continuation of, you know, earth toned colors. So I also own a few. So I have this these cargo pants in a khaki color 
I have these uh, fitted pants in this uh, beige color. These were from Mr. Price, also from Mr. Price. And then I have this cream jumper from Woolworths. This was actually my grandmother's. I took it from her. So I have this. And this brown um, trench coat. Um, the thing I bought this from Mr. Price. I bought this from Mr. Price last year. So I'm sorted there. I have these 10, these 10 boots. They're also from Mr. Price. And I can't remember what color this is. Uh, I'm not sure what color this is. These were from Edgar's. I bought these from Edgar's. So I'll also link some, if, if you want to, you know, follow these trends, I will link some of the clothing pieces that are already out in stores. Um, so check out that in the description bar below. The third trend is romantic textures. These include feathers, ruffles, tight pleats, and you know, mesh or lace. I saw a lot of um, lace and mesh and pleated tight pleats and ruffled um, textures on the runway. So we should expect to see that obviously in stores as well. So right now I'm just going to show you some of the pieces that I own in this category. So I have these feathered um, strappy sandals. Um, I forgot where I bought these from, but these I bought these recently. So that's that. And then obviously, you know, Instagram has made it okay for us to literally wear my lingerie outside. So I have this uh, lace bodysuit. So it's lace and mesh together. I got this from Mr. Price as well. And then I've had, <laughs> believe it or not, I've had this dress since, since 2006 now. I think it's 2006. So it's this ruffle dress it has these ruffles here it's brown so this dress actually has two trends in one so it has the color you know the color brown and you know it has ruffles i bought this from legit and then lastly i own these uh, pants pleated pants but i feel like this uh, pleated pants is movie it's crossing over to 2019 because cleats were, were huge in 20 in 2018 uh, but i think the difference now is that the pleats are a lot smaller last year the pleats were a bit you know wider now there's a bit smaller so yeah so the pleats so go get yourself if you don't have if you're into you know romantic textures you can try you know pleats you can try ruffles you can try Feathered uh, either clothes. I saw a lot of feathered clothes on the runway and shoes as well. So that's that. So the fourth trend is polka dots to all my polka dot lovers. Yes, polka dot is back. It's trending. So you'll see a lot of polka dot in stores. If you already own polka dot, you don't even have to stress about it. So I don't own a lot of uh, polka dot, I must say. I only have, you know, this uh, dress that I'm wearing. I bought this from Fashion World. And this camisole. I bought this last year from Cottonon during the Black Friday sale. So, yes. So, if you're into polka dot, go for it. It's in trend. So the fifth trend is Bermuda shots. I know people last year, biker shots or cycling shots, whichever way you call them, 
were huge and they're still going strong i saw a lot of cycling shots on um the runway uh the likes of chanel was chanel i remember chanel they you know um style them differently you know they kind of you know use them up a bit but if you know like me the cycling short uh, trends is just not your thing you'll be happy to know that uh, there was a lot of bermuda shots on the runway so this is like a should i say an upgrade to to cycling shorts so i saw a lot of these um on the runway i bought mine from i can't remember now because i've had this for a very long time as well you see that, that's what i'm saying you know trends come and go and chances are <clears throat> you already own you know that clothing item so don't throw away your 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 your, your you know your clothing items but i'm not saying again don't don't be a hoarder you know don't be a hoarder because <laughs> that becomes a bit of a, of a problem but if you like a clothing item don't just you know throw it away because you know it was in and now it's out just hold on to it chances are that trend will come back so yeah if you're not into the cycling uh shorts trend you have this you know um trend to hop on so the fifth trend is metallics and shimmers i saw a lot of metallic um dresses and shimmery uh, clothing items on the runway and i've also actually seen that also in stores there's quite a bit of uh, shimmery and metallic uh, clothing items out there so if you don't own one and you want to hop onto this trend you can obviously go ahead but i've linked some of the clothing items in the description bar below so just check it out so the one that i own is this pleated skirt from mr price i bought this last year it was on sale i bought it because it was on sale and you know the pleated uh, skirt trend was was quite huge last year so i decided to buy it not knowing that you know this metallic or shimmery look would be you know would go on trend in 2019 so it was a win-win for me and then this one i'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up it's not as um shimmery but it is you know shimmery it's a shimmery material i bought this this is a very old it's a very old um, dress, but I don't like the the way it looks. I think I'm going to DIY it and change it into a top or something. So watch out for that. So that's that trend there. If you're into shimmery clothing or especially if, you know, these are good. If, you know, you have, you know, these work um, dinners. So you can just... or even if it's not a work um, dinner, if it's just, you know, dinner in general, you can just wear these and you're good to go. The seventh trend is tie-dye. Um, and I'm not sure about this trend, to be honest, because when I think of tie-dye, I think of, you know, those school products that they used to make us do in class where you use dye and you you know you dye your own clothes or actually i used to do that as well at home not necessarily at school but that's the first thing that comes to mind when i think of this trend you know those diy um things that we used to do where you dye your t-shirt or jeans or whatever so i don't own a lot of tie dye clothing items because first of all i don't even know how to style um a tie dye clothing item the closest thing that i own that is tie dye is this sarong so i only use this when i go to the beach to wrap myself you know if i'm wearing a bikini 
So I use this at, only at the beach. So this is the only thing that I own in this trend, this tie-dye trend. So I don't have much to say about this trend because I'm not, you know, I haven't invested a lot in it. The eighth trend is puffed shoulders or puffed sleeves. I saw quite a bit of this trend on the runway. I saw quite a bit of, you know, puffed shoulders um, in dresses. I think this trend actually looks nice in square neckline uh, dresses as, as it was shown on the runway. So I expect to see that in stores as well. I don't own, you know, um, a dress that has puffed, puffed uh, shoulders. However, I own um, this gray blazer. I bought this from Legit. I bought this from Legit. So the shoulders are not, you know, it's not overly dramatic, but you can see it's 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 slightly, you know, puffed. And then the second one is this. Um, stone colored or is it beige beige colored um jacket from mr price i've had this for a very long time as well i actually stopped wearing this because oh gosh it creases this thing creases like hell so i stopped wearing it but i think i'll start wearing it again like the gray blazer it also doesn't have you know those overly dramatic puffed shoulders but their shoulders are puffed and if you're not into you know puffed shoulders you can go for puffed sleeves so if you own you know a puffed sleeved top you can stop wearing that because it's in trend and yeah the ninth trend is oversized hat i saw a lot of you know oversized hats as well on the runway i don't particularly own an oversized hat i think my mom does though um she actually bought i remember going with her to Woolworths to go buy it so unfortunately i don't have it with me to show you but the hat that i own is this um what is this material i forgot what this material is is it woven Forgot what this material is called. I bought this from Mr. Price. Where was I going? I was going to Port Elizabeth on a holiday. I decided to buy this, so I've had this for a while as well. It's not oversized, but it's a hat nonetheless, and I like it. And you know, it's in a trending color as well. Uh, it looks beige. I think this is a beige color. So that's the oversized hat trend. So if you're into hats. And you like being overly dramatic, you can you know hop onto this to this trend. The tenth trend is the Western trend. So actually cowboy boots were quite uh, popular last year, but I think this year we'll be seeing more of French. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't own anything that is fringe, um, but I saw quite a lot of fringe dresses and fringe jackets on the runway. So if you're into, you know, fringe and you own one, you can start wearing your, your fringe dress or skirt or jacket or whatever it is. I think this actually will be your statement piece because, you know, it's, it's unique and you know, it will zhuzh up your, your, your outfit. Uh, but in this trend, I own these cowboy boots. I bought these on sale at Mr. Price last year. So I really like them a lot. Um, they were originally 300 bucks um, and they went down to 100 bucks. So that's why I bought them. And they actually had a fringe skirt last year and I don't know why didn't I buy it but I thought to myself if I buy it where will I wear it so I decided to not buy it but if you are the type of person who goes to festivals 
then maybe you can you know consider buying you know a fringe dress or a fringe skirt so that you participate in this trend the final trend is the square toe shoes so it could be i saw a lot of sandals and boots square toe square toe boots and sandals um and you know in actual fact when i was doing my research i saw quite a bit of of, of, of these shoes as well but i'm more of a pointy toe shoe kind of girl i don't really like the square look i don't think it looks good on my uh toes because my 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 feet are very are very narrow so it just looks weird so i don't go for those kind of um shoes the only sh uh, pair of square toe toe shoes that i own are these um boots i bought these boots from ackermans um i think in 2017 so these are the only pair of square um, square toe shoes that I own. Um, like I said, I'm more into pointy toe. I feel like my feet look nicer on, you know, when I'm wearing um, pointy toe shoes. But if, I think if you have wider feet, uh, square toe shoes are for you. Uh, they will look great on you. But nonetheless, if you want to, you know, try out the trend, you can go ahead. I saw quite a few shoes from um, Sandals, from Superbalist and Mr. Price. But anyway, like I said, I've linked everything in the description bar below. So go check it out. Um, so that's the final trend. So thank you guys for watching my video until the end. I truly, truly appreciate your support. So like I said, you don't have to bother with trends if you're not into them. But if you are... Firstly, check into your wardrobe and see what you have. Chances are you already own some of the clothing pieces. So if you've liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and follow me on Instagram. And for those who are new, please, please consider subscribing. I would really, really appreciate your support. And I will catch you in my next one. I will put my recent upload somewhere here. Another video somewhere here and the subscribe button down here i'll catch you in my next one bye